introduction for sequences. You will encounter four different types of sequences. We have the arithmetic sequence, geometric sequence, harmonic sequence, and the Fibonacci sequence. But before we discuss all those four sequences, let us first define what is a sequence. A sequence, it is an ordered set of numbers formed according to some pattern or rule. So, sequence is dealing about the pattern or rule. And that is denoted by, for the first term, we have, for the first pattern, term, we, know, we will name it as term. The A1, for the first term, A sub 2, for the second term, A sub 3, for the third term, A sub 4, for the fourth term, and so on. Okay? Let's say we have 0, 3, 6, 9, 12. So this is our A1. A sub 2. A sub 3. A sub 4. And A sub 5. What will be our A sub 6 and A sub 7? Or the A6 and A7. Look at the pattern. 0, 3, 6, 9, 12. The pattern is the multiples of 3. So next will be 15. Next to 15 is 18. Another example. 11, 6, 1, negative 4, negative 9. What will be our next term? And next to it. So our next term is, take a look at the pattern. We subtract 5 to get the succeeding term. So 11 minus 5, that is 6. 6 minus 5, that is 1. 1 minus 5, negative 4. Negative 4 minus 5, negative 9. So the next term is negative 9 minus 5, negative 14. Next to negative 14 is negative 19. Okay. Next pattern is 200. 100, 50, 25, we're going to find the next two terms. So what rule did we use in our pattern? 100, if we're going to divide by 2, that is uh, 200, if we're going to divide by 2, will give us 100. 100, if we're going to divide by 2, will give us 50. 50 divided by 2, 25. So the next step is 25 divided by 2. That is 12.5. To get the next term, 12.5 divided by 2, so 12.5 divided by 2, so that is 6, 12, bring down 5, then 0, 0, then 50 divided by 2, 25, so 2 decimal, 1, 2, period, so 6.25. So our next pattern, or the next term, is... 6.25. So that is the sequence. Again, you will encounter the arithmetic sequence, geometric sequence, harmonic sequence, and the Fibonacci sequence. Let's have another example for our sequence. Generate the first five terms 
of the sequence defined by f of n is equal to 1 over 2n. So we need to get the first five terms. The a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. So let's solve. If we have the first term or the f sub 1 is equal to 1 over, just substitute n to our value of n. In this case, 1. So 2 times 1. So 1 over 2 times 1, which is 2. This will be our f1 or the first term. Next, f of 2. 1 over change n to 2. 2 times 2. 1 over 2 times 2, which is 4. Next, f of 3. 1 over 2 times 3. So 1 over 2 times 3, 6. f of 4. 1 over 2 times 4, which is 1 over 8. And last, f of 5, 1 over 2 times 5, which is 1 over 10. First 5 terms, the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now, let us try to write our sequence. So our sequence is 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 over 6, 1 over 8, and 1 over 10. This is now our first five terms of the sequence defined by f of n is equal to 1 over And now our second example, given the sequence described by b of n is equal to 2n minus 4, find the 7th and the 10th term. So we're going to find b7 and b of 10. So copy 2n minus 4, 2n minus 4. Next will be substitute n to our value. So 2 times 7 minus 4. 2 times 7, that is 14 minus 4. And 14 minus 4 is 10. Next, 2 times 10 minus 4. 2 times 10, that is 20 minus 4. And this is 16. So this will be our 7th term and 16 will be our 10th term. So that is the sequence. Now, before we proceed in the arithmetic sequence, geometric sequence, Fibonacci, and harmonic sequence, I will introduce to you first what is a series. What in is our next series? Video? By definition, a series is a sum of a sequence of terms. And that is denoted by the S sub N. Let's say the S N, that will be a1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus and so on. Let's say we have the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. What would be the sum of our sequence? So to get S5, why S5? Because we have 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. That means n is the number of terms that you're going to sum up. That is 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15. So 3 plus 3, that is 9. Plus 9, 18. Plus 12, 30. Plus 15, 45. So our S5 is 45. Again, a series is simply a sum of our sequence. Let's have more exercises about the series. Let's have our example number one. Find the sum of the first eight terms in the sequence AN is equal to 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on. So we're going to find A8. But first, let us study our pattern. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. What are those numbers? Those are the perfect square numbers. So after 25, we have 36, after 36, 7 times 7, that is 49. Next will be 8 times 8, which is 64. Is our 8 terms now complete? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we're going to add those 8 numbers. So 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus 36 plus 49 plus 64. Let us add. So 1 plus 9, that is 10. 4 plus 16, that is 20. Next, I will add 36 and 64. So 36 plus 64 is 100. Next will be 25 plus 49. So what is 25 plus 49? So 14 carry 1, 74. So plus 74. Now, 10 plus 20, 30 plus 100, 130 plus 74, 204. Okay, that would be our pattern. You can check using your calculator. Our second example, find the sum of the first three terms of the sequence defined by an is equal to 3n squared minus 1. First three terms, that is a1, a2, and a3. So let us write the first term and copy 3n squared minus 1. The second term copy 3n squared minus 1. And the third term, copy 3n squared minus 1. Now let us substitute. 3 times 1 squared minus 1. 3 times 1 squared, this is 1 minus 1. 3 times 1, 3 minus 1. And this is 2. Next, 3 times 2 squared minus 1. Don't forget the PEMDAS. So exponent first before we multiply. So 3 times 3 squared, 4 minus 1. 3 times 4, 12 minus 1. And this is 11. 
And last, our third term, 3 times 3 squared minus 1. 3 times 3 squared, 9 minus 1. So we have 3 times 9, that is 27 minus 1, and this is 26. Now, let us find our S3. So S3 is 2 plus the second term, 11, plus 26. So 2 plus 11, 13, plus 26, that is 39. So the sum of the first three terms is 39. So that is the series. Again, you will encounter the arithmetic series geometric series, and harmonic series. Thank you for watching Singer Pablo TV.